Hi, Garth Ennis. Uh, I'm here on Forbidden Planet TV to talk about The Punisher. John Travolta and Sam Jackson standing yeah. over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it's happy. completely deliberate. It's a, it's, it's a great touch. <laughs> and actually, you don't fuck with Clint Poston, which I, I've always admired, or Tim Plate, whatever oh. it is. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's, that's so that's uh, that's Magnum Force Clint, and of course David Soul um, died about two weeks ago. Yes, he did. Um, I, that's actually an illustration done by a friend of mine. Oh, is uh, it? Oh, right, because that that original image, yeah. yeah when we, uh, it's definitely from the. It's definitely from the. Uh, I published a I published a movie magazine when I was publishing Uncut the 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 uh, the music mag and we did a couple of film editions and we did mm -hmm. a whole Clint issue and mm -hmm. if you look at not there's a couple of images from that shoot that have been seen a lot but actually the original reel is about twenty images and they are all killer no I fellow have. with the forced perspective they're just brilliant yes they are they are good and you know that one that's a decent movie too it um, oh it is yeah maybe drops the ball at the very end a little bit the you know the way he takes out the the villains well the the bike the biker yeah. cop oh well yeah you you you're taking the words out of my mouth this is exactly what I was going to say yeah, the biker cop doesn't actually get killed he just drops in the water what yeah we, you know we I mean, didn't... there's no he's pretty much he didn't hit with any impact he's going to no, be able to can... swim out of that or maybe he was stunned and was drawn broke his I, neck you know, I don't know. But apart from that, it's it's a worthy sequel, I think. Oh, uh, I, I think so too. And uh, and three great performances from guys who went on to be big like TV yeah. stars. It's Tim Matheson from Animal House and uh, right. Robert Urich from Vegas and Spencer and loads of other TV shows. And David yeah. Soul, of course. All That's kind right. of the youthful prime in that movie. Yep. Yeah. And you've also got um, uh, Albert Popwell. Uh, he plays the yes. pimp. Yeah. Right he's, he's, the funny thing about him is he's in all he's in four out of five Dirty Harry movies playing four different roles. He's like a, a bank robber, a pimp, a black nationalist, and Harry's partner. It's like he's sort of working. <laughs> he works his way up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's what I love about uh, Clint Scott is you know his extended like kind of. Uh, Malpaso kind of performing company. That's they true. all come back in different way. I mean, I mean you know, it's like the bikers in uh, every which way but loose. You yeah, know, they're you in can... everything else as well. If ever you need That's... large numbers of unsavory guys, you That's get most right. of them. Uh, I think you get Bill McKinney in there, don't Bill you? McKinney. Oh yeah, Bill famously McKinney. the rapist from Deliverance, but also but, um, yeah. Villain from Josie Wales. Yeah, he's in Bronco Billy. Yeah, playing quite a nice guy. Uh, yeah, you know th those. Those faces that you just associate with his films, I think. Yeah. Mate, I, 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 we could talk about this for hours very easily yeah. and have done, which is why I'll ask you a comics-related question instead. But, you know, it's not a bad segue, uh, Clint um, and Magnum Force, into The Punisher. Punisher. So, so, so there's uh, some interesting Punisher activity around Marvel for you, the, the repackaging re-repackaging the omnibus editions of your classic run. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you when you look back on your kind of long association with the character and your massive impact on the character and, you know, how, how much that run is held up as the run, really, how do you mm -hmm. feel about it all? Um, I'm still very, very fond of the work I did on the character, especially the Max run, where I, I really yeah. felt I nailed it. Um, I'm not that crazy about the Marvel Knight stuff, and yet at the same time, I would have to acknowledge that goofy as it is, it did introduce my work to a much bigger audience than I'd ever had before. Uh, prior to that, yes, Breacher had taken me a, a certain distance down the road, but all of a sudden, my work was in front of a mainstream Marvel audience, and you you remember what it was like in those days. I do. Maybe yeah. it still is to an extent. You had readers and retailers who would basically stop reading the catalog when they got past Marvel and DC. So, and you would have people who would read nothing but Marvel. I mean, many, many people and all. And so that, that audience was alien to me and I was alien to them until that book. Um, but I felt that I really nailed it with the Max book and 
if if people like what I did, maybe it was just because no one had been able to do the Punisher properly before. No one had ever really been able to isolate him, take him out of the Marvel universe so that w we can stop messing up good crime stories with silly superhero characters. Yeah. Mature readers label helps. You are free to explore almost any aspect of the, the darker side of life. Um, everything came together perfectly with that book and I'm still very pleased with it and I still enjoy returning to the character. Um, I, I believe my uh, latest uh, Marvel Max Punisher book will be out later this year at long last and of course with the the uh, reappearance of the material in the omnibus editions uh, I'm, I'm glad it's alive and well I'm glad it's still out there it's uh yeah it's it's work I can happily um hold my hand up to as it were yeah quite right quite right I, I you 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 had the blessing of those those amazing covers as well that uh, Tim did for such a long period of time yeah um you know it, I was thinking about those recently coincidentally and I do think that what Tim and I both did um, separately was we kind of calmed the Punisher down a bit, by which I mean before that he'd been a character who you associated with this roaring, screaming, posturing, machine gun waving lunatic who would um, who would often be seen with a shotgun in one hand and assault rifle in the other, incoming bullets narrowly missing him. Perhaps he'd been wounded a couple of times. He's screaming his head off and he's blasting away with both weapons. And I, I had always thought that the Punisher would be far more likely to be the kind of guy who just quietly gets on with it. And in fact, if he does get into a situation where people are shooting at him, he's messed up slightly. He should have made sure that he got into position and killed them all before they even got off a shot. And then he would put the weapons away or ditch them and just quietly walk off. And I think I think this, this sort of more sinister but more sensible approach to the character is something that, that was echoed in Tim's covers. You see very little posturing in those. You just see a guy who happens to be there who you could see slipping back into a crowd or into an alleyway. Um, rather than making a big song and dance, a big drama, uh, that's something that um, that that I think it's a conclusion we 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 each arrived at separately. But it really works. Yeah, I I I, I couldn't agree more. And uh, no better no better um, human being to be uh, painting uh, Punisher covers than than Tim, who is a physically massive bloke. If you ever hang out <laughs> with him, you know he's exactly what you want him to be. You know what I mean. I haven't seen him for a while now, but I remember he was he was he's one of those guys who's a, a fantastic to go for a drink with at like San Diego or what have you. You know, just just a just a bit, you know, a big bloke. Yeah, yeah. I think and I think he thinks very hard about the kind of visual impact of his covers. Uh you, you think of those and you can you can instantly think of six or seven yeah. iconic images. Oh, one hundred percent. High levels of analysis into his work. I, I think. I think that's very true. When you when you uh, when you look back on on your on your Max run, uh, it, uh, do you have any favourite members of the extended cast that you introduced? Um, I liked O'Brien, who was that weird piece of damaged goods that <laughs> popped up from time to time, and and who was sort of, uh, you know, I perhaps not Frank's female equivalent, but certainly a worthy companion uh very much of his world um i liked her i and i always enjoyed writing barracuda yeah fantastic yeah. is is sort of american the, the the hellish end of american folklore come to life um via the via the uh the, the military industrial complex um uh, i I enjoyed writing uh, some of the villains. Uh, it was interesting seeing how far you could push them, how, how nasty you could make them, knowing that at the end you'd get that denouement and Frank would take them out and give them their just desserts. The The mafia wives were quite good. Um, 
they're, they're appalling, but the slavers were yeah. quite good. Although there it was like I was just sort of taking dictation from reality. And uh, Nikki Cavella, um, as the the sort of ultimate mob boss, the guy who who takes it where no one else has the nerve to take it, uh, he was good fun too. Um, yeah. yeah on, the, on the whole, I, 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 I liked or enjoyed writing perhaps everyone that um, everyone that I that I brought into that that book. I think they all work reasonably well to one extent or another. I, I completely agree, and it doesn't surprise me to hear you say that, because all of those characters you mention uh, really have lives of their own off the page, and and I think it's something when you've got such an iconic character to be able to surround him with characters to interact with that that don't dilute that icon status, but also allow the the spotlight to go elsewhere apart from on them, if if yeah. that makes sense. And I oh, think I that's. That's that's absolutely what you achieved with that run. Yeah, it's it's a good trick if you can pull it off. Um, I mean, I'm a fan of that show, Reacher. Oh, me uh, too, mate. Me too. I thought, but I thought that season one absolutely nailed what you're talking about. You know, a good yeah. supporting cast, but they don't take away from them. And season two sadly lost that. Um, it it really did. It it sort of reversed things. Um, and, and all of a sudden you had far too many other characters who distracted you from Reacher yeah. rather than rather than augmenting his presence, as it were. But uh, in the case of Frank, I, I mean, the guy um, the guy has such an iconic status uh, and look. Um, I sometimes think when, when people ask me, you know, how do I see the Punisher? Well, there are a variety of ways to, to answer that. But I see Frank. And this goes back to my idea of of a guy who quietly gets on with it rather than creating a drama. But I see Frank as one of those natural catastrophes that occurs when the pressure builds up, <laughs> like, like the hurricane or the volcano or the earthquake. Uh, things are getting bad and the pressure's building up. And then one day you look out the window and there's that silhouette on the horizon and you just know that things will never be the same again. That's Frank. Um, and that is absolutely spot on, mate. Uh, it's lovely to hear you say that. And that is the perfect moment to uh, to wrap this one up and say the new omnibus editions of your Punisher Max run are available from the links attached to our conversation. And uh, I could talk about Clint Reacher the Punisher all night, all of those glorious archetypes. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon, mate. All Take right. care. See you, Andrew. If you're enjoying watching Forbidden Planet TV and you're enjoying watching us talk to the world's most interesting and accomplished filmmakers, authors, artists, musicians, creators, subscribe right here. See you soon.